Ladies and gentlemen, this is the hopefully the video you've been waiting for. The all new thumb release from Ultra View Archery. We have we have them in hand. If you have notifications on on the channel, you'll saw that the the launch film dropped yesterday. But today is going to be a deep dive into the thumb button. Everything that you could possibly know about it. Hopefully, we'll cover in this video inside this box. This is how this is how they ship it. This is how you would get it. We got two releases in here. Um, so let's dive on in and open them up. Sad day, by the way. I broke off the tip of my uh, my knife yesterday. I dropped it and it broke. So real sad day. We'll start. We'll start with whatever the one this is. Whatever this is, we'll rock. Oh, there it is. Kobe wrote it on me. Nice, nice and nice and neatly. This is the stainless steel button. It is uh, the same, about the same weight properties as the brass releases. So if you like uh, a heavier release, this is gonna be the one for you. And then obviously we have the aluminum version. But this is how it's gonna come. It's gonna be very similar to the Hinge 2 boxing. You got an Allen wrench for adjustments. Underneath the, the, uh, the foam packaging is gonna be an all new uh, little pamphlet here going over, oh, I guess this is, I don't know if this is how they're 100% done. They are not. This is still raw prototype manual. Colby just printed it out for me, I guess on a single sheet of paper. If you get one now, it's in a nice little booklet, which is really nice. But we have a manual going over everything, all of the adjustments, all the whys, everything. And of course, good old handy warning labels. So make sure you don't, make sure you don't do anything that those warning labels say or anything that I do. Don't do anything I do. So. Yes, we have been working on this for a very long time. We've had uh, so many questions, you know, ever since we came out with the original Hinge 1, they're like, when is a button release gonna come out? Like, when? And we're like, soon, you know, sometime, we're working on it. And uh, for UltraView, we never try to come out with a product that's like half-baked. We want our best effort, our best foot forward, and we've been working on this for quite a long time. And the Hinge 2, was the step in the right direction because, I'll pull out the fancy prototype one, the hinge two and the new UV button is the same exact form factor, the same head location. Your draw length is gonna feel the same. It's gonna feel the same in your hand. They are supposed to be as one, can shoot them both, gonna feel exactly the same. And uh, we came out with this with hopes and plans to come out with this. And now it's finally here. Uh, so we're gonna dive into each setting one by one and unravel the new UV button. Okay, so first, like when you pick this thing up, you're gonna notice the thumb barrel. This is gonna be the stock thumb barrel that comes with it. Um, you know, thumb barrels are kind of underrated because some are just standard. They have the knurling around it, but we wanted to have it with purpose. So we actually have these very deep grooves that are going to cut into your finger. They're gonna really grab in your finger. They're not sharp, but it feels like it's actually grabbing your thumb because of the way that it corkscrews, it resists against your thumb. It's not gonna slip against it. It actually is gonna help you execute a good shot. You're gonna feel good feedback and good pressure from it. So these come in a lot of different colors too. This is just standard in stock black how it comes the adjustment thumb barrels you know and other releases and stuff i've had them shift all around on me so that was one thing i was like guys we have to make sure that this thumb barrel does not move once it's tightened down and i think they really tackled it because we've we've loved it so far so you come in here and uh wrong size come in here it's just one allen wrench you loosen it and then you have a free floating thumb knob position any way like this and then you have up and down now, instead of just an Allen wrench tightening down on a bolt behind it, we actually have connection point there, connection point here with very deep threads on this side. So you can tighten this bad boy down pretty much. And since it has compression on both sides, unless you break something in half, your thumb barrel should not move. So I really love that. A lot of customizability from that too. Um, on top of that, if you want even more adjustability, if you come on this back side the thumb barrel knob actually loosens too. You can loosen that and you can get more adjustability and travel because it actually oscillates in there. It's not a center drill hold. We did that on purpose so that you can even get more customizability, more travel and 
exactly how you want it because everyone's thumb is a little bit different how they how they hold it is a little bit different so you should be able to find a good feel for you on the back part we have the uh the cocking trigger mechanism um and this is kind of internal you're never really going to see this but you're going to feel it you're going to hear it there's actually very very little metal on metal contact in the entire internal release we uh came out with ultra glide technology is what we're calling it all the bearings everything is is not metal on metal contact this is a ultimate hunting release ultimate target release and with that it should be pretty quiet so we actually have little plastic stops in there too so that after the shot it's much much quieter than than a lot of them out on the market so that's really cool it's not super hard to push very uh you know, confirming that it's clicked and it's not gonna hang up halfway in between. Next, since it is tailored for the bow hunter, I was like, guys, we need to have a string retainer. We need some way so that it clips on the D-loop and stays on the D-loop. And that's where this little guy comes in. This is the string retainer clip. So you just need a little bit of pressure to push this into your D-loop. Let me grab a bow. Best way to do it is you hold your release like normal and you just use your thumb and you just kinda slightly push it in and then it's on your d-loop you can stay right on your d-loop and uh your whitetail hunting spot and stalking whatever you can always have it at the ready right there also once you fire and before you cock there is a little magnet on the inside that automatically pushes your hook back into the set position when you're just shooting like normal you will almost never find your hook just out lax like this because after you shoot it comes back in and locks back down and all you have to do is push the cocking mechanism back so you're pretty much ready to go always if you have to shoot again real quickly or you're just you know target shooting practicing it's really easy you never have to swing around clip it in or anything all you got to do is push the cocking lever push it in the d loop like that and you're good to go um, i've seen people do it with their index trigger or index finger with their thumb and sometimes you can even just push it in there slightly without even Use an extra finger, but it's never gonna slip out on you. We made sure that the diameter between those two were small enough that no D-loop is gonna slip in between. Next, just outside features, we have a lanyard attachment, this third finger lanyard attachment. If you have an aftermarket lanyard of any sorts, you can funnel it right through there if you just want a you know, piece of paracord, anything. Anything you want, it has that, my bow just fell. We also are going to have uh, four finger attachments coming out very soon, um, but it will ship and it will launch with just the three finger attachment. So going into the actual travel and adjustments of the release, we want, again, we wanted it to be very customizable. Whatever you want, if you want a super light release, if you want a super heavy release, if you want no travel, if you want travel, we have all of the options underneath the sun available for this. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna set this release up to have no travel. Pretty much, you go to press the press the button, the only thing you're gonna be doing is resisting against it. There's gonna be no travel or movement of the actual button release. When we were editing this video, we wanted to redo and explain how you should go about setting this up and how easy it is to, to do the tension. So, when they assemble these, they are set up, the button is set up to about the average setting it's ready to go you can pick it up you can shoot it it's 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 literally ready to go if you want to change it step number one that you have to do take out your handy dandy allen wrenches you are going to take your force screw and you're going to back it all the way out all the way out until you can't anymore so there we are that is the back end so you can still click it you can still shoot it but it is backed all the way out now what you're going to do is you're gonna take your travel screw, which they are marked super nicely right here. We got our force one right here. We got our travel one right here, plus and minus. You're gonna take your travel one and spin it all the way in until it fires. Boom, there we go. So we're just gonna double check that we're right there. Yep, we are. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna back off a quarter turn. So we're just gonna spin quarter turn. Now what that does is it sets the release up to be absolutely no travel. Now if you want a little bit of travel, you can, and you can keep backing out a little bit more to allow a little bit of travel, but most people, 90% of people, 95% of people, you want no travel. Essentially you're putting pressure onto the button release and you're, you're, no, you're feeling nothing other than just increasing pressure. 
Now we're set pretty light. I mean, it's, it's pretty sensitive. So now to get your force correct, what you're gonna do is you're going to add force by turning it clockwise. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do about a turn. That is gonna be pretty standard where a lot of people are gonna land. And that feels pretty good right there. So if you want more force, you keep spinning it in. And we recommend don't really going past three full turns. Three full turns is about as much as you're gonna want. Um, and then obviously all the way out is as light as you're gonna want it. So if we want it as light as we can go, we go all the way out and that's pretty dang light. And then if you want more, you just go all the way in. We wanted the maximum amount of adjustment with this release. Super, super light, but also really hard if you want it. It's all in one as adjustable, but make sure you follow those steps. If you wanna change it, step one, take your four screw, go all the way out until you can't anymore, then screw in your travel until it fires, back out a quarter turn, and then adjust your fours as you want, in that order. All right, let's go. All right, so next, we have the aluminum. Um, same form factor, same release, same everything other than weight. The aluminum is light. If you like a really light release, I mean, it is super, super light. And then the stainless, it's pretty heavy. Um, so this is strictly a personal preference. A lot of guys like a much heavier release. They feel like they're a little more stable, more stability um, when they're anchoring. And a super light release is just a little easier to use. It's easier to carry. Um, it doesn't weigh down your vinyl harness or your release pouch or anything like that. So. 100% personal preference on this. So I guess like why UV button? Why did we come out with a button? We've we've came out with the H2 or the H1, then the H2. We've always, Ultraview has been known as like the new hinge company. And now we have the button and they go side by side. I mean, you use a button for everything, you know, target archery, hunting, recreational. It's really a, a release that anyone can use. And when used properly, it also can be used just like a hinge and 100% can be as accurate as a hinge. Um, but a button, you know, quite frankly, it's a little easier to use. And I'm actually really excited to dive into this hunting season with it. Um, just for the fact of being able to hang on the D loop and be at the ready at all times to be able to be a little bit more in control of my shots. And overall, it just feels really good. I mean, in the past, I've used buttons, I've liked buttons, and we came out with the H1 and I've been hinge only from now on until now. So I'm really stoked about this, diving into quite, you know, kind of a hunting product. Like this is a hunting release and that's what we want it to be. Um, and we're excited, we're stoked, ultraviarchery.com. Also, brealmerch.com, we got them in both places. Um, so make sure to check them out. The all new UV, UV button. And tomorrow's video, we're gonna be diving into how to use it, why to use it, and we'll get out and shoot it a little bit. But this was strictly an educational instruction video on it. Make sure to check it out. UltraViewArcher.com and BeoMerch.com.